Trish and Jan Quenning, Rugby 365. Um, talk to us, I mean, you, you were there in 2019. Uh, talk to us about how this field compared to 2019. I know you guys don't like looking back, but th there must be a sense of the space that the team is in at the moment and compared to the space the team was in uh, before the 2019 final. Now, as you said, we, we don't like to compare, our, compare ourselves uh, to four years ago. Um, a lot has changed, to be quite honest. Um, the team, the culture, the, the buying, the opportunities players have gotten. And to be quite honest with you, where we are now compared to four years ago, I think it's a team that's developed, a team that has experience, and a team that, that's grown together. Uh, more more than what you were in f uh, four years ago. So I think just the brotherhood we have for each other and just the love um, we have for one another, it's, it's, it's massive for, for us. And whenever we do pull over that jersey, we, we want to do, our, do each other proud. We want to do our country proud. And yeah, just to be quite honest, it's whenever you, you, you finish your international uh, season and you go back to wherever you play, you're quite look forward to join up with the Springbok team again because you know what you're going back to, you know you're going to see your, your family and your brothers and that's just something that I get quite excited about and just um, for the management, the way they, 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 if they've gotten this team together is, is unbelievable. So yeah, um, definitely in a good place com uh, compared to four years ago and a lot of growth as well. Hi Cheslin, good morning. A question that uh, I've asked yesterday to the All Blacks, I've asked to them what South Africa and the Springboks mean for them as a rugby player or as a state and everything. What does New Zealand and the All Blacks mean to you growing up? How do you look at them? And so on. Thank you. No, obviously, growing up, um, it's, it's, it's a test and a uh, environment that you would love to be a part of one day and um, for us as, as as players individually it's playing against the All Blacks or Springboks and New Zealand it's it's been history it's come a long way it's history and it's always a massive rival between the two teams and it's been like that for years and it will always be like that um, two of the toughest teams playing each other and for us um, Whoever gets opportunities on weekends, we make sure that we go out there and we, we play the best and face the best as well. So, yeah, it's going to be a massive uh, challenge tomorrow, but one that uh, each and every one of us as a Springbok team is looking forward to. Chesin, get up. Just over here. Um, could I ask about you covering Scrum Half? How, what's that look like in training this week? How much have you run there and your, and your confidence in doing that? No, I think, um, to God honest, um, whatever the plan is that the coaches have uh, for us as players is just to buy into that um, as, as soon as possible. Um, and for me, a bit of Sevens background, um, I've played at, at Scrum Off and Sweeper, as, as in the Sevens, as we call it. And I played one or two games um, internationally for the Springboks at Scrum Off. Um, but yeah, um, just the experience from, from players as Faf, Kovas, uh, Jaden and Granti as well, just to, to give me some input on, on what I can do to make sure that um, I'm up to standard, um, preparing me as well as as if I'm in that position um, coming tomorrow night, but I'm sure Faf will, will carry us uh, through to the end. And for me, just to be honest with you, Whoever I am on the field, whatever position I'm playing, is just to make sure that I have a positive uh, impact on the game for, for, for the Springbok jersey and for my teammates. Good afternoon, Cheslin. Good afternoon, Kurtley. I'll just have a split question for both of you guys. Um, Sam Kane made a very well, interesting observation saying that as much as the World Cup final is an occasion in itself, it still remains a game of rugby. How are you, uh, being in your second final, how are you processing that? you realizing that you've got a final to play, but it's it's a game that still needs to be played. And I think for you, Kurtley, just take, just just walk us through your emotions of playing in your first Rugby World Cup final. Um, hi everyone. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Like I asked Cheslin in um, at captains, how did you feel in 2019 playing his first uh, World Cup final? And he actually said he was very chilled. And um, yeah, there's a bit of uh, emotions, but I uh, also feel uh, a bit calmness. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm 
really excited in uh, yeah I think it's going to be a good challenge uh, playing against All Blacks and looking forward to that yeah no obviously um, it's another test that we, we're playing tomorrow and the occasion for speaking for itself is, is massive um, not every rugby player or every team gets opportunity to, to play in a rugby World Cup final and for us to do so uh, twice uh, in a row it's obviously massive uh, for the Springboks for South Africa um, because I think we, we, we come from what the, the Springboks has been through um, and just to see all the, the obstacles that we had to overcome as, as, as a team, as management and everyone um, just shows what what our country means, what this jersey means for us as, as players and not just doing it for ourselves but really hoping to inspire a whole country um, back home that, that supports us, that sends messages to us. So yeah, the occasion speaks for itself and it's going to be up to us as, as players um, to be up for tomorrow night. Um, and I think it's it's all about visualising things. That's how I am. It's about visualising certain scenarios of the game and, and how things will go. And just make sure that mentally, physically, we're well prepared and just bring a bit of calmness um, as well. Justin, here. Yeah. Um, it is uh, more pressure for you, this possibility to take the number nine or not. And when do you play the last time with this number? <laughs> <laughs> I think the last time I played <clears throat> number nine in international was against Argentina. I'm not sure if it was it's 2021. Um, but it has been a, f a few years ago. But yeah, as I said earlier, for me, I'll just do the best wherever I can um, to make sure that I have a, that I have a positive impact um, towards the team and and for my teammates and make sure that I contribute in whatever way I can. Um, but as I said, we the, you never want to see injuries in any game. You want to see each and every player fulfill and and go go uh, injury free. So for me. Um, if the opportunity does come that I have to go to Scrum off, I'll make the most out of it and just make sure that I enjoy myself, which is the most important thing. One last question. Susan, um, apparently it's your birthday tomorrow and it's uh, the 30th, yes, and you're turning 30. Sure. Just, um, <laughs> it's massive, obviously, it's a big game. And then uh, just a word on that and, and a message for the people back home. Yeah, it's another year, another blessing for me. Um, but to be quite honest, I don't think it's about me or celebrating my birthday. Yes, um, grateful for another year in, in in my life. But to to be standing where I am today, to go out tomorrow to represent my country, is it's more than than anything for me. Um, so yeah, super grateful uh, for the opportunity to do so and celebrate my birthday, but my main focus will, will be tomorrow night going out on that field and, and just express this wonderful talent that I've been given and um, just do my utmost best to be quite honest. So yeah, definitely looking forward to it. And yeah, just to the, the public, the, our country, um, all the videos, the coaches, the players have shared amongst each other and the, the excitement that we can see that is back home, is, it's incredible, uh, to be quite honest. Um, we got to see a few clips um, this morning and it just brought a few tears um, amongst each other and to see South Africa making a plan in every regard, no matter what the circumstances are, whatever the difficulty is back home, that the as South Africans will always make a plan to to for each other um, to watch the spring box to make something um, ins inspirational and 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 pull something uh, together so yeah just as 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 a springbok and as as a as a player for South Africa just really uh, humbled with with all the videos we received and hopefully us when we go out on that field we we can do our country proud we can do the people proud of South Africa and yeah we're just really thankful for all their support um, doesn't go unnoticed at all